hopefully this time I don't fuck it up. All right, so we're recording. Um, this is our fortnightly community update call and AMA. Um, as usual, we're going to start um, with product updates. I'm going to cover some random stuff after that and we can answer any questions if there are any um, afterwards. Fungible Taco, do Great. you want to jump in with Landworks? Yeah, sure. Thank you. So, all right. So on the Dimitri side, Landworks, we are finishing up several beds. We have a new, very slick looking landing page and we're very excited to show it to you. We have also worked on enhancing the experience for renting our boxers property. We're adding a map in the explore view, which behaves similarly to what we did for the central map. Uh, we are also working on an improved filtering system, but that will come out a bit later as we're trying to nail what's the most flexible and optimal way uh, for, for filtering properties. Um, so pretty much those are the things that we're working specifically for the front end. We're going to have a release next week uh, or of those uh, but um, alpha or sneak peek on the landing page or you would prefer to leave it for the release i think uh, a surprise for the release is going to it, 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 it is what we're going to do um but last week i I shared that we have been working on this since we did last thing. I shared that we have been working feature mechanism on the back end. Uh, and I'll elaborate a little bit more about that today. So, Danny, that's, that's probably the alpha that, that you're looking for. But I'm going to start by saying that we believe that Landworks is a fundamental layer for lowering the entry barrier for the metaverse through rent-seeking. And we want to enable as many people as we can to experience. Um, that's why we have decided to expand the landverse capabilities by giving the opportunities, the opportunity for collections, marketplaces, or other dApps uh, to get a portion of the revenue enter DAO is generating through landwork. So try to elaborate that on try to elaborate on that for, for the for the different bets. So Landworks charges a percent on every rent and we have created a mechanism to share that percent. Um, there are several ways to go about that as we have tried to come up with the with the versatile enough mechanism to facilitate different possibilities. Um, so I'll start off uh, with the first one and we have the opportunity to share revenue on election level. This would mean that we, would, we can we can give out a portion of the revenue to the metaverse for which the transaction is being made. So, I'm going to give an example. If we have a hundred rents this month and fifty of them are for central properties, then we will be able to share a portion of the revenue for those fifty central rents with with Central and DAO. Um, and this is supported for any other metaverse uh, that is integrated into Landworks. It's not just Central and it's just an example. Um, that's the highest level of this mechanism. Moving along, uh, another possibility will be to share a portion of the revenue with marketplace. And again, I'm going to give an example. Let's say Let's say we can we we, we partner up with OpenSea. It's just just an example. Um, so we can um, enable renting and, and leasing through Landworks. So that uh, sorry through, through OpenSea. So that would mean that for every rent on a property which is listed through this marketplace, in our example, OpenSea, we can share a portion of that revenue for that rent. We also have the possibility to share a portion of the revenue for a rent if the property is rented 
that is over selected to, to the to the proponents um, or any other market. Again, I just want to highlight this is an example, um, but we have tried to to enable this, as I said, in the most versatile way to facilitate different different options. Um, this is the highest level overview of this mechanism that can give you this. We have been working this for some time now. Um, we're close to finalizing it, um, and once we do that, we will be releasing some documentation so that everyone can get a little bit more details and get familiarized with, with that. So stay tuned. That, that, that's coming in. But the gist of it is that through this mechanism, we want to expand those capabilities to other apps or collections in that sense. So we're really, really excited about this. Uh, that's an open. Um, that was the, the main thing that I wanted to share public wise for example. I just want to start with the team that we're working together up with various um, projects and companies who recently listed for the kinds of the scene builder. We're very excited about that. We've done some great stuff. Also seeing some movement in the scene builder space, so some some more pretty great uh, scene builders have lined up. So yeah, we're excited to to Reveal those as well, but yeah, that's uh, that's land works. I'm gonna stop here and give the word to Ali. All right, thanks. Um, so on Meta Portal, um, we're currently testing the leaderboard and the referrals. Uh, some bugs were found, but the team managed to fix them. And we'll probably create a new final build tomorrow. Uh, if everything's fine, we'll release on Monday. Um, actually, let me give you some more information about how those are going to work. Um, first about the referrals. Uh, so every user will have their own referral code. Uh, users can send this code to their friends and they'll be able to enter it when they are creating a MetaPortal account. Um, with the referrals, we'll also launch a referrals quest. So every time a player uses your referral code and completes the requirements, you will gain experience points. Um, the requirements would be for the user to complete the Twitter and Discord verification and also to reach level 3. Um, and then a body board. Um, through the leaderboard, uh, you will be able to see yours and other players' experience points and levels. Um, and with this release, it will be just um, static information, but with the next one, uh, we will launch public profiles. So from the leaderboard, you also be able to access other users' profiles and see their updates. Um, we also implemented some improvements with regards to the connection to the web-based games. Um, this will allow us to support Decentraland and finally users will be able to launch the Decentraland events through the portal and connect with the MetaPortal wallet. Um, and another thing that will be released next week uh, is the coming soon games section. Um, because, uh, well, there are lots of games still in development and we've been speaking with some of them, but right now we are only listing games that are already live. We cannot add the upcoming ones. Uh, so we decided to change that in order to be able to collaborate with uh, the upcoming games uh, even before the launch and also to have uh, more content for the users. Um, and some other things that we are working on and will be included in the future releases um, are uh, first game reviews. Uh, we'll give users the option to rate games and try reviews. Uh, also for each game, we'll add information about the fungible and non-fungible tokens they have. Uh, and we'll let you know if you need some of those in order to play the game. Um, another thing that is uh, kind of an extension to the public profiles will be the option to search users and to add them as friends. 
Um, currently, we're also exploring uh, chat solutions. Uh, ideally, we'd like it to be decentralized and with end-to-end uh, -end encryption. So if you have any suggestion, uh, suggestions, feel free to post them. Um, we we saw that Nansen recently launched Nansen Connect, uh, but it's still in beta, and there are also a couple more solutions in development. Um, but yeah, let us know if you have any uh, ideas. And uh, last but not least, we're planning to have a new page for guilds. Uh, it is currently being designed, uh, so I'll be able to provide some more information about that on our next community call. Um, so that's on the development side. Uh, apart from that, we have um, some new events and news in the portal. Uh, so make sure to check them out. And that's all from my side. Thanks, nice. Sally. Thank you. All right. So um, random updates on my end. Um, as some of you know, like we passed uh, the third governance proposal for EnterDAO last week for the building, well, the acquisition and the building of a uh, EnterDAO community space or headquarter in the central land. Um, we are already working with Voxel Architects uh, to basically build a space. So this is going uh, well. Uh, we've um, I think I mentioned it in the past one, but we've signed a bunch of uh, partnerships that we think are going to be um, quite big for EnterDAO. Hopefully we're going to um, announce one of them next week and we'll have another one uh, later this, uh, this summer and we're working on a, a bunch of others as well. Um, obviously, we're under NDN, we can't really leak too much alpha, but uh, we were quite excited about those and we think that uh, those will uh, basically speed up uh, adoption of uh, both of our products. Um, this is on the partnership side. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, there are no community questions in the Discord channel. Uh, so uh, if there are any questions that we can answer right now on the call, I guess now it's a good time to do it. And if not, we're going to uh, upload the call uh, tomorrow as usual, uh, hopefully this time with good audio and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if there's anything in the meantime, you know where to find us. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to chat if there's anything. Um, to the quick sharing from Landworks, though. I mean, we had for that. There would I, I'm expecting uh, marketplaces or um, yeah, NFT marketplaces to be integrating because they will be receiving revenue. And it is expected for Metaverses to try to integrate with Landworks if they will be receiving rent revenue as well, which is an obvious win-win. Yep. And on top of that, it's we see it also as a defense mechanism against forks, because um, obviously Landworks is open source and everyone can fork it if they want to. But uh, by integrating um, profit sharing, um, we actually are going to partner up with uh, projects uh, rather than compete. Yep, that's correct. Awesome. So let's wrap it up. Uh, the recording will be up tomorrow and we'll see you guys again in two weeks. Yep. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, bro. Bye.